Morning guys, it's Thursday, uh, the trading disclaimer appears in the description below if you're watching on YouTube, otherwise members, let's just jump straight into this and take a look uh, on the daily chart. So, zooming in on price action, we're currently trading just under the 12,000 handle. Uh, we had an attempt at that yesterday, but failed by just a few points, and this morning now, this one looks like it's going to have the momentum to probably get over the line. Uh, let's hope so anyway, because I'm long. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got a couple of arrows here that don't pay much attention to the direction the arrow is pointing. That's just showing me the situations whereby a test is uh, showing me when it when it's happened, uh, and the test that I've looked for are the times where, like this, there were consecutive bullish candles followed by a large nearly 200 point candle what I've asked is for this test to show me the times where that's happened before and if you look back on this daily chart I've had to update it since the one I did earlier was uh, not quite right but we haven't seen that happen really for some time in fact 2016 was the last time that happened and in June when that happened it failed with a large gap lower so it uh, doesn't look good um, and yeah it's, it's not something that's particularly happened very often however this was the time that sort of drew my attention and uh, that was around about the sort of end of 2014 and you've just got this continued rally all the way up to that high at the 2015 sort of springtime so I guess what I'm trying to say here is that whilst we've had this bullish price action doesn't necessarily mean that we're due for any kind of reversal anytime soon that's really the only conclusion that I can draw from that but at the moment we're trading at the high of uh, well, 2019 high we've just about to break yesterday's which was the actual 2019 high and I would like to see us get over the line to reach that 12,000 handle. <coughs> Excuse me. On the hourly chart here, three upsloping uh, low to low trend lines here of varying degrees of, of slope. Uh, this third one here has been broken. And this second one, if we actually extended that through, you can see it almost pretty much touched here on a revisit of that 930 level, which is a zone that was being carved yesterday with this price action round here so we held that this morning which is interesting so I'd like to see us break through that 12,000 to confirm that that would be the new set of uh, minus or minor swings if you like in this impulse wave that we're seeing at the moment if we do fail here and turn around break to the downside breaking this upsloper here you know perhaps we could start to see a retracement <coughs> the area that's interesting is this because as you can see on this profile here large low volume area probably will give up quite easily if it does get broken uh, but the longer it stays here forming out this new value area the more difficult it will be to break below it and that could be the platform by which price starts to uh, use it as a, a base to, to build higher so we will see how that plays out for the rest of today. Looking at the intraday price action, I mean, yesterday's um, price action was pretty straightforward. It was a series of higher highs and higher lows. Uh, we started the day off by breaking the previous high uh, within the first hour. Didn't even take out or, or get near to the point of control of the previous day and continue to build for the remaining part of the session. It did not even break its trend line uh, on the day, so it was... I suppose you could say it technically did at the end, but it was tagging it throughout the majority of the session. And then this morning, we actually tagged off the point of control, perhaps used that as a bit of a springboard. Um, it turns out that that is also the five-day composite value area high, which is where the grey area, the darker grey area ends. And so that's an interesting spot to bounce. Um, but yeah, from here, I'd like to see if it can hold the value area high and then break through the high of yesterday and ultimately on towards that 12,000 handle and above. But we will see. Uh, the DAX can often turn around and do what it wants to do. Uh, and on CFD, the numbers of these looks exactly the same as foot, uh, the futures price. It actually did tag the point of control, whereas on futures it didn't. But um, the levels are just slightly different. And as far as exposed points of control are concerned, uh, let's just see if we've got anything interesting here. It's pretty much all to the downside. 
Um, and you can sort of just about catch the lines with the labels here, but I don't think they're going to be in play today unless something uh, drastic was to happen. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. And as far as trades are concerned today, um, I got started off with thinking I might try a couple of cells. Um, I did one on DAX and one on FTSE. Neither of them worked, so that's fine. We'll take a bullet. And then got into longs um, when we flipped into this buy mode, which we're in uh, at the moment. So we'll see whether or not that manages to catch any momentum. But uh, currently long on both FTSE and the DAX based on this strategy. If you want access to this strategy, you can get that. Uh, you just need to be a member of Sierra Charts. So let me know uh, if you already are, and I can sort that out for you. All right, guys, hope you have a good trading day. Catch up with you again later. Take care.